नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम द व्हाट्सअप असलम सर वालेकुम असल वरहत वरक आई एम सुल्ताना फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश लिविंग इन यू एस ए आई लव यू सो मच सर ओनली फॉर द सेक ऑफ अल्लाह आई हैव वॉश्ड मोस्ट ऑफ योर लेक्चर अलहमदिल्ला आई बॉट अ हाउस बाई टेकिंग अ लोन फ्राम इस्लामिक यू आई एफ कॉरपोरेशन बैंक नाउ ऑल आर द मुस्लिम फ्रेंड से इट इज ऑल्सो इट ऑल्सो इंक्लूडेड रिबा कन्वेंशनल बैंक एंड इस्लामिक बैंक आर द सेम इफ माई बैंक इज रॉन्ग देन आई हैव टू सेल माई हाउस द सिस्टर हु हेल्स फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश एंड लिविंग इन यू एस ए शी टुक अ लोन फ्रॉम इस्लामिक बैंक इन यू एस ए पर्सनली आई एम नॉट अवेयर ऑफ दिस बैंक बट मेनी ऑफ अर फ्रेंड आर सेंग दैट द इस्लामिक बैंक एंड द कन्वेंशनल बैंक आर द सेम एंड यू नो इवन दे आर रिबा बेस्ड so she worried that if it's true then it is haram for her to take because she agrees that riba is haram now let me tell you very clearly that many of the muslims are not aware of the islamic financial systems they may not have studied the islamic financial law so in the ignorance they may say that there's nothing in islamic bank etc because they don't know so they are not the right people that you have to ask to but there is something like islamic bank there are scholars of islamic economics who have given the guidelines so but i'm aware that there are some banks which are fraud so but you cannot make a blanket rule that all the islamic banks are you know same like riba and it's wrong so i disagree with this but the point to be noted is yes there are some few banks in the name of islam they are cheating the muslim ummah they normally give riba etc but they say it is islamic so you as a person as far as this particular bank is concerned i have no knowledge i have not done any survey on this bank so i cannot comment on this bank but generally as a thumb rule you have to first see who are the advisors the sharia advisors on that islamic bank every islamic bank has a sharia board so if on that islamic bank there are reliable islamic sharia scholars like Sheikh Taqi Usmani if you have reliable islamic sharia scholars then safely you can take loan it will be halal but if you don't know who they are so you have to do a little bit of survey and the background check that who are these scholars are they reliable scholars or are they just name fake but generally the ruling is that if you take from islamic bank and if the bank is not following the sharia they are responsible you are responsible until it is very clear cut evidently clear but those muslims who say all islamic banks are riba based they don't have knowledge of the sharia so please don't listen to them but if you really go and do research of the scholars on islamic sharia who are mainly scholars of islamic finance like sheikh taqi usmani like sheikh daud bakar you know these people are well known and if you check up with them it carries weight not with the person a muslim who's a layman but i personally feel that generally it is best not to take loan from any bank conventional bank is haram but avoid taking loan even from islamic bank unless you are forced that you cannot survive without taking a loan then instead of taking from a conventional bank take from islamic bank taking from a conventional bank which is riba based is totally haram don't take it under any circumstances but my advice is not to take a loan at all But the forbidden of other reasons, best is a loan-free life. You can take a reason from your Muslim friends or relatives, etc. Avoid taking from a bank. But if you have to take and you have no choice, then it's better to take from Islamic bank. And inshallah, it's safe. And if the bank does something which is not Islamic, they'll be responsible, not you. Hope that answers the question.